All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 Everton career mode. Um, we are back with the second leg of the knockout stages, the first round of the knockout stages. We are 1-0 up against Napoli from the away leg. So we go to Goodison Park with a one-goal lead. It's going to be nervy, but hopefully we can pull through. Uh, I'm going to have a Destroy All Humans video going up on Friday. And also tomorrow, we're actually going to be streaming the Xbox event. Um, so if you're interested in that, they're going to be showing off the new Halo, maybe a new Fable, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that at all, make sure to turn on my notifications and uh, you'll get notified when I go live. Also, I'll have... Uh, PGA Tour 2K21 video going up tomorrow as well. So let's jump in and let's play this match against Napoli. Our players are actually a little bit tired. Everton won in real life yesterday, Claxon. Everton actually won an, a, a football match yesterday for the first time in a long time. Uh, but yeah, it was really nice to see us beat Sheffield United away from home. A nice clinch, our clutch Richarlison header. It was a beautiful header, I must say. So we're, we're sticking with the 4-1-2-1-2 for now. Because I have liked what we've played with this formation. I'm actually going to put Holland in ahead of Dominic Calvert-Lewin as well. And um, we're going to try this team here. Stones and Lindelof are both tired. But I think I don't want to break up that pairing. Especially uh, at home to Napoli here where we can't concede goals. You know, we really can't afford to concede goals. There's Hector Bellerin. Let's go and let's do this thing. Um, it was it was really, really well-played game against Sheffield United, though. And uh, apparently Everton have had a bid accepted, uh, ac accepted rather, for uh, Pierre-Emil Hoiberg. Hoiberg? How do I say that? The Danish center midfielder. Hoiberg, I think it is. It's, it's definitely not like Hodgeberg or some shit. Like, it's definitely not how you see it. It's like Hoiberg or something like that. I, I'm almost positive. Um, but yeah, I, I'm actually really excited at the prospect of signing him because he's the kind of player I feel like that we need. That that kind of Ghana gay player that we're missing. Uh, center mid that does the defensive dirty work. We don't really have anyone like that at the moment. I think Gomez beside Hoiberg or maybe even another center mid. Uh, there's talks of signing uh, Allen or whatever from Napoli. So that would, that would be really good. The center of midfield is really where we struggle at the moment and where I would say we're the weakest by far. So um, I think it would be really nice. We look much better in the 4-2-3-1 formation though that Marco Silva used to play. Uh, I guess that's because we have the players for that formation. Uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson was much, much better in that number 10 role than he has been previously in the, in the central midfield role or kind of having to do a lot more defensive work. He's been, a, he was a lot better. Gomez was a lot better. I thought that was his best game since the restart, since the injury by far. It was nice to see uh, Gomez back in form. And obviously Richarlison is just, Richarlison is just something else, man. He's an incredible player. We can't afford to let him go at any stage in our lifetimes, okay? He's so, he's so good. He's so good. Digne is unbelievable as well. I, I feel like Digne and Richarlison are the two players you just have to keep no matter what. You have to keep them too. All right, I'm, I'm getting off track right now. Let's get back into the FIFA. And uh, what am I doing? Holy shit. What am I doing? I meant to pass that to McTominay. I'm really... I need to focus because I'm talking too much. And Uh-oh. This is bad. What on Lindelof, dude? That was bad. It was like four of them rushing forward there. I can't get out of my own half right now, dudes. This is a goal. Oh, what a save from Donnarumma. I, I, I literally can't get out of my own half. I'm going to freak out. Come on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. You have room to run into right there. Look at that space. Look at that space for Marcus Rashford. Can he go all the way? Beautiful for Marcus Rashford. He's still going. Rashford, that's unbelievable. What a goal. What a goal from Marcus Rashford. Let's go. Come on. Sorry, I'm a little bit sunburnt as well, as you can see. All right, let's freaking go, Marcus. Let's go. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. He literally turned that full so badly after running the entire pitch as well. That has to be up there with the Champions League goal of the season, honestly. And Koulibaly couldn't get back in time. And the keeper had absolutely no chance. An incredible goal from an incredible player. And that young man, Marcus Rashford. Let's go! That should be done and dusted. They'd have to... It has to score two now to go through. Well, 
on the scent of something. What a challenge from McTominay. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. And Lozano finds Luca Dean. Uh, and we are back to square one here without being able to get out of our own half. <laughs> Good thing is we have a two-goal cushion now instead of a one-goal cushion. But that could be cut to one right here. Is that Kingsley Coleman? Max Ahrens gets it out, but barely. All right, can we please get it out now? There you go. There you go. Nope, that's not. Yes, it is. Max Ahrens gets to it first. And now Haaland is on the run. And Everton. Haaland cuts inside. And he puts through Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz could wrap it up here and now. He waited too long, but Lozano saves. Situations for the what a challenge from Victor Lindelof! That man is a god. I'm telling you right now, Victor Lindelof is legit a god. I love that man. The ice man. He's got ice in his veins. And McTominay puts through Rashford. Counter attack football and boom! Again, Rashford on the counter finishes Napoli off. At one end, Victor Lindelof makes an insane challenge. Last ditch. And Rashford goes up the other end and absolutely buries it. A beautiful through ball well, here from McTominay. Goal, Boom. Finish, yes, On his left peg. And just Rashford could do nothing but score. Well, the goal again. What a well, player, lads. A Boom. Marcus Rasher has put us through to the next round of the Champions League knockout stages. Oh, no right, half time. I'm actually going to take off Lindelof. I'm going to take off Stones because Lindelof's been doing so well and I'm going to bring on Holgate just to give him a little bit of a rest because that centre-back pairing is tired, as I say, and we'll probably start Gabriel then in the next match. I'm going to take off Averts and I'm going to bring on Mason Mount. It's with Awar. It's Hold on, Lucas. We'll Beautiful Waterfall from Luca Dean. And he puts the Rashford for his hat-trick. He's in. No, he's offside. I imagine it was pretty close, actually. Yeah, we have Man City in the FA Cup next. But that was... Yep, it was pretty close, man. Nah, he's a good yard off, though. Henry Onyekuru. They have Henry Onyekuru. On we had him before. Remember? We had him. But he could never get his visa. Elects to go short. Well, he made that intercept, firing it towards goal. Lads! Convert. Holy shit, well, fucking Christ, man. Might be able to set up the chance. Just couldn't capitalize. There. Lindelof is the best player in the world. I'm, I'm putting it out there right now. Lindelof is the best player in the world. And what a ball from Rashford. Lozano could be in now to really rub salt in the wounds. Serving Lozano! Saved, but Haaland well, has the chance to still to keep this alive. Mount! Into the goal. Ah. All right, we're going to make a change here. We're going to bring on... I'm actually thinking of putting Richarlison up front here, taking Holland off. It was a good deal more complicated. How big, how big a win was that for Villa last night, by the, by the way, guys? I was delighted. I really hope Watford go down. I truly do. I hate Watford. And I actually like Aston Villa quite a bit. No, I should have kept going. I did not know. Really a very poor ball. <gasps> no, I wasn't expecting it, dude. That actually could have been the hat trick right there and then. Last minute of the game, it would have been nice. All right, well, we won. We're through to the next round of the Champions League, boys. Done and dusted. Job done. Without breaking too much of a sweat, really. We won away from home and then we won comfortably at Goodison Park. And the crowd goes wild. Come on. I'm actually getting a haircut pretty soon. I gotta probably hurry this video up a little bit because, uh,. Yeah, I'm going for my haircut in, a, in about an hour. Look at this first goal. It's not going to show all of it because he ran so far, but look at his turn. Boom. Nah. You're gone, son. Rashford's a beast. Gotta love it. Scott McTominay, who came in for Rabio, was actually the man of the match. As you see, Victor Lindelof was nearly a 9.0 as well, 8.9. He had an incredible game, I must say. Marcus Rashford had a 9.3. And those are the three players only that were above an 8.0. So Real Madrid are playing Paris Saint-Germain uh, in the second leg there. So one of them will be gone. Atletico Madrid are playing Lyon. One of them will be gone. Leverkusen uh, actually beat Inter Milan. Oh, shit. Okay. Leverkusen are through and Inter are gone. Barcelona are playing Man City. They're 1-1 before the second leg. Milan are playing Dortmund. Liverpool are playing... Uh, Juventus, Juventus are winning there. Bayern Munich are up against Chelsea. Some some huge matches there in the Champions League, uh, Champions League round of 16. Let's see who makes it through to the quarterfinals to face us. Hey, come on, baby, we're through.
All right, round six in the FA Cup against Manchester City. Um, let's change the squad up a bit, maybe. I'll, I'll give Lindelof a rest at least, because he is dead tired. And I'll put in Gabriel as the left-footed centre-back. And I'll put Holgate right back, actually, and give him a start as well. We're going to start Dan James left mid. And I'm going to start Davies right wing. All right, crazy. No, I'll actually swap them. There you go. Can we beat Man City in the FA Cup? No! Leroy Sané with the double. And Digne scores for us, but in vain, unfortunately. And Man City go through to the next round of the FA Cup. We're gone. But I want to focus on the Champions League anyway, so that's okay. Jesus Christ, we're six points behind them in the league as well. Home to Huddersfield in the Premier League. Lozano wants to start. Okay. 2-1. Alfonso Davies with a double from left back. Okay. <laughs> oh, Calvaluan's injured. Fuck. Please don't be out for too long, buddy. Lozano's happy that we gave him the start. Influential performance, sir. All right, let's see. Dominic Calvert-Lewin is out for two, two months. Oh, no, man. Calvert-Lewin's legit out for two months. You're fucking with me. Right, we're simming against Leicester here in the Premier League. Let's see if we can get an away win with the, our full-strength team. 4-0? Holy shit. Alfonso Davies just keeps scoring, man. Din Why does the left-back always score? Digne scored as well. I swear he scores a lot of goals in Sims. Like, just Alfonso Davies and Digne tear it up. Lozano and Havertz scored also, but a 4-0 win against uh, them there. Literally, I fucking... I played you every single game. I, re I really don't get it. I, I, I don't remember the last time I dropped him. I've played him every single fucking game. The last, like, 10 games I've played him. So that really is just like a glitch or something. Where Havertz is just not happy for some reason. We have Juventus! Oh, shit! We have fucking Juventus. Yo, I actually need to start a weakened team here. I don't even care about this match that much. Like, I really don't care about it. Rashford's up to a fucking 91. Holy. Like, I'm genuinely starting Elias uh, Ella Sims up front. I, I genuinely don't care. Like, I'll put Mason Mount. He's up to an 86 now. Mason Richardson's 88 as well. Let's go! All my players are going up. Alfonso Davies, you start. We need to start a weakened team here so, like, that my team's not completely fucking wrecked for the Juventus game. I really don't care about the Premier League as much at all. All right, let's see. I'm literally starting Ella Sims up front. Imagine he scores and we beat Man City here. <laughs> On the Sim, that would be fucking epic. <laughs> all right, but I, I just need... I need... To make sure that my team is completely fucking ready for the... No, we lost 2-1 to City again, bro. Ellis Sims did score, though. <laughs> Sims scored his first Premier League goal on his debut there. He's actually meant to be a hot talent, Sims. He's scoring like crazy for the under-19s, I think, or the under-21s or something. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Quarterfinals of the Champions League against Juventus, my friends. Let's see what we can fucking do. Well, well played, Sims. I'm glad you scored a goal. Fair play, lad, but Rasher has to go back in. I'm sorry. <laughs> Right, this is actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to start Richarlison up front with Rashford. Um, and we're going to put play Holland on the bench, okay? And then we're going to have Lozano on the right and Grealish on the left. And we can change things as they go. Um, but this is such a huge match that we just... We need to be so careful not to... Not to lose at Goodison here. Is it at Goodison the first leg? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. If we can get a win at Goodison, that would be huge to go to Italy with that... With that lead against Juventus. Okay, I wonder is Ronaldo still playing? Because if he is, I'm scared. I'm scared. They have Paul Pogba. Oh, fuck. They have Pogba. Let's do this thing. That kid is so horrendous. Forward to a lot I'm fucking the nervous, friends. The likelihood of a tension Paul Pogba. Is Ronaldo there? I want to see if Ronaldo's here. I assume he's retired by now. He's going to be too old, right? He'd be like fucking 38 or something, right? Yeah, there's no way he's still playing. There's no way. Kevin De Bruyne is leading them out. Oh, fuck my life, bro. They have Kevin De Bruyne and Paul Pogba in center mid. That's just crazy. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared, I tell you. The quarterfinal, baby. Let's fucking go. I'm nervous. I'm ready. There's the two center back pair. The, the center back pairing of the century right there. Victor Lindelof and John Stones. And there's our skipper, Captain Fantastic, Luca Dean. Okay, Ronaldo's not there at least. That's the one positive that we have. But their team is incredible. They have Martial. They have Martial, Kevin De Bruyne, Paul Pogba. What? They just raided Manchester. 
They just raided Manchester, man. They have Asensio on the right. On the on the right, yeah. They have Kante as well. There's no. Mm, I'm scared. They have Gabriel Jesus as well. No, they literally just raided Manchester. Their entire midfield and, and attack line is Manchester. Manchester City or Manchester United? It's both. What the hell's going on? Want to tackle? Well done. Well done. I'm scared early, but we gotta. We gotta stay in this thing. Be confident. We can win this thing. We can beat the best teams. We beat Barcelona in the group stages, for goodness sake. As Grealish cuts in beautifully, Jack Grealish shoots and. Ooh, that, was, that probably would have been close. Yep, he's retiring. Okay, so he's not retired. He will, in fact, end his career at the end of the season. No two ways about it. So he's gonna come on. He's gonna come on. What the fuck is that? I was trying to pass back to the keeper. No! No, 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 thank you. We were talking about Ronaldo, and then we nearly just fucking conceded. But yeah, he can probably come off the bench. Imagine he comes off the bench and gets like a hat-trick, I will kill myself. Oh, this is bad. No! Oh, no, Paul Pogba scores. This might be the end of our Champions League campaign if we can't get back into this, boys. What the fuck is going on right now? Well, what is that celebration? You just love counter -attack football. <laughs> no, I did in the last game against Napoli, but now not so much. <laughs> God, we can still get back into this. We don't need to crumble yet. We don't need to freak out just yet. We can score goals. We know that. It would be pretty fitting if episode 69 was our last episode, guys. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's Rabio. Oh, come on! No, 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 no. And it's 2 0. Fuck me, man. Two away goals, too. Within 36 minutes. Go on, Richie! Go on, my son! Beautiful Grealish! Oh! Damn it. That would have been beautiful to get back into it right before half time. But now they're on the counter. We cannot afford to go 3-0 down or it's over. We just can't. Simply can't afford that. Because it, it's literally game over if that happens. Come on, Donner. Okay, there you go. Rashford could be in! He is! What a pass from Donner Robin! What a goal! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking go! What a pass from Donnarumma! That's like what Pickford tries to do with those crazy long balls, man. But Donnarumma just timed that one to perfection. One touch from Rashford and a beautiful finish to match it. Incredible stuff. Incredible right before halftime. I'm not done yet! We still got a lot left in the tank! Here's De Bruyne. It looks promising. Mm. Okay, Paul. Okay, Paul. I see you, brother. We're not going to make any subs just yet. We're okay. We're doing all right at the moment. I don't want to disrupt the flow of this game. Because we are doing okay right now. No! You fucking idiot, Donnarumma! Wasn't that right at him or am I tripping? I think it was right at him and he saved it into the post. It was Cristiano fucking Ronaldo as well. You are joking me. He just came on, I'm pretty sure. Watch this, look. Yeah, he fucking kicks it into the post. No, dude. No. Look at this. Save it with your fucking hands. Really? That's what's gonna fucking... Oh my god, they have three away oh, goals now as well. We have to get back into this. We have no option happy. other Just than to get back it. into this. And there he is. The main man, Cristiano Ronaldo, has put us in the mud. Retiring at the end of the season, but he's not done yet, apparently. Arc! Gonna bring on Alfonso Davies. Left mid. 
And I'm gonna bring on mount as well, actually, yeah. I'm gonna bring on mount, center, attacking mid, and hopefully, 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 this can make a difference. Because even if we can get it to one goal well, again, um, we can possibly win by two goals over in Italy. Up. Like, it's unlikely, but if we go over there with a two-goal deficit 3-1, we legit have to win there 3-1 or 4-2 or something, which is just impossible, you know? Juventus are too good, man. I don't know what I can do, really. I think we're fucked. All right, no, we gotta be positive. We gotta be positive. We're not fucked. We're not done yet, son. See, what a ball. Finds Alfonso Davies. What a, what a turn from Alfonso Davies. No, that was so close to getting the mount. That would have been such a nice move, man. Here is Andre Gomes. Here's Ronaldo. They have Andre Gomez as well. They have Andre Gomez, Christian Eriksen, De Bruyne. What the hell is up with their team? God damn it. They took Gomez from us? Come on, man. Oh, no. What have I done? I've given it straight to fucking... Oh, no. This is... Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Come on. Let's get one back here. Come on. Yes, come on. Penalty. It's got to be a penalty. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Red card too for Martial. Red card. Yeah, send him off, ref. Send him off. Well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from Not even getting a yellow. Holy shit, we have to score this. Simple as me. Yes, come on, Rashford. Grab that ball. Come on, let's go. Back to back to the halfway line. Come on, come on. It's not over yet, son. It's not over yet. Well, as we see, this is probably the best Back to one goal down. What a game. Holy shit, man. This is incredible stuff, truly. Wow, wow, wow is what I'm going to title this video. <laughs> Holy shit. Go on, Rabio, you beast. No. That's it. That's game. Fuck. All right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It, it, it could have been worse. That's the thing, like, if we had went went to Goodison, or went to, sorry, um, went to Italy with a, a two-goal deficit, it would have been impossible. Pretty much impossible. Especially if it was 3-1. They have three away goals, I know this, but we could still potentially win, like, 2-0 or something like that over there. Or 3-1. You know, it's possible. Otherwise, it would have been... It's still unlikely, but it's possible now, okay? What a game, though, to be fair. What a game. This was the first goal. From Paul Pogba. Boom, near post, bang. Donnarumma, no chance. And this was a good goal, too, to be fair. Pogba and De Bruyne worked it well, and they're just right across the keeper. Marcus Rashford gets us back into it with an unbelievable ball from Donnarumma and a lovely little one touch bang finish. And there you go. We're still in this thing. It's not done yet, son. Marcus Rashford, of course, was the man of the match. He was the only player, actually. Worth anything. Donnarumma done decent as well. Sim in this league match against Stoke City. With our strongest 11. There you go. Rashford got a hat trick. Good lord. And so... <laughs> Rashford has scored seven goals in his last three games. Holy fuck, man. He's incredible right now. Absolutely incredible. Holland is praising us for showing faith in him. Which is fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Erling. You're my boy. Alright, so what should we go with? Should we start a little bit of a different team this time or what? I don't know. Let's see. I think formation stays the same. I'll stick with this formation for now. Yeah, I'm gonna... I think I'm still gonna wear the blue. Just clashes best with the black, I think. Maybe we'll take out Grealish and put in... Uh, we'll put in Holland. We'll put Richarlison on the right, Lozano on the left, and... Uh, yeah, we're gonna start... We're gonna start Holland this time. And that's what we're gonna go with for now. All right, let's do it, boys. Come on. We can still do this thing. It's not over yet. Floodlights Here we go. A floodlights ready. beaming and down. A perfect night for football. For Kevin De Bruyne three. leads them out. Luca Dean leads us out. Let's fucking do it. Come on. This, this does not slip now. Insert video of Steven Gerrard slipping. Has two players in attack. Rashford! Oh, good lord, Aguato was nestling in the corner. Oh, would have been unbelievable, man. It wasn't that far away, actually, at all on his left foot. Now, let's see what they can do here. 
No, it what the fuck just happened? Oh, thank you, Donna. Thank you, my son. Jesus, it kind of got through Lindelof somehow. Donnarumma makes the save, because that would have just killed it. If they score, we're done, man. Just to win 3-1, then. Can they do something Beautiful. Beautiful counter-attacking football. Halan, go! You absolute animal! That's so shit! On your good foot as well, that's so shit! Come on! No. Fuck, that's it. It's game. I actually can say they don't deserve it because they don't. It's our first fucking attack. Well, it wasn't, but save from Donnarumma. Fuck, man. Gabriel Jesus. We need to win 3-1 now. Simple as. That's it. Oh, what a save. Come on, lads. Get it out, for Christ's sake. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Wow, that's Football. just retarded. That's my fault. Kevin De that's ruined the, the entire game now. I, I pressed I pressed square, and then I kind of cancelled it by accident and done a dummy, and then I just panicked and press X, pressed X. Look, right here, the dummy, watch. I dummy it, watch. I meant to press square there, and then I panicked when that happened and pressed X to pass it back to Donnarumma. But he passes it across the fucking goal, and that is that. It's game. We're out of the Champions League, unfortunately, unless we can somehow turn this around and win 3-2 and get it to fucking extra time. But uh, the way things are going is not in my favor, so I somehow think that's not going to happen, especially against this Juventus team, man. Should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. What a challenge! A what a fucking goal. challenge! Was that Kai Havertz? <laughs> it's one of the best challenges I've ever seen in my life. Holy That's shit, that finally we can get the formation changed here. And the new subs on, but what a challenge. It's over. Like, we have to score three goals in 30 minutes. It's never going to happen, but... We can at least put a... Restore a bit of pride, maybe. be able to profit from the wide position. Rashford. Beautiful, what a goal. Rashford puts us back in it. In Half an hour to go, we need two more goals. Come on, Rasher. You absolute animal. You animal. He's a beast. The new formation change well, did well here. Good goal. Really good ball. I think it was from uh, Rashford in the first place. Havertz passes it back to Rashford. The keeper gets a touch on it, but it's not enough. Penalty. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. I didn't know if that was going to be one or not because he kind of got the ball first. But he's given a penalty and Rashford has a chance to score again. What is happening? What is happening? Come on, we can't miss this. We simply can't miss this. Yes! Holy fucking shit. What a game. What a tie. It's 5-4 on aggregate, and if we score once more, it could be going to added time. This is truly incredible stuff. And I've got my hair cut really soon, so we need to finish this up now. I might honestly have to do extra time later if... Uh... Oh my god! Lindelof clears it off the line. Goal line clearance from Victor Lindelof. That could have been that. But Everton are still in it somehow. Come on, come on, come on. Get it out! Get it out! What a save again from Donnarumma! Clear it! I just slide tackled my own player, and we fucking couldn't get it out! You're kidding me, man! I could not get it out! Good lord! It's just a cluster fucking there. I'm tackling my own players and everything, and somehow it just goes through to Gabriel Jesus. And now that really is game. That is truly unfortunate, man. I really believed there for a second that we could do it, but it's not to be. It's not to be. God, that sucks. Now he must favor the cross. Oh my god! Alfonso Davies just scored! Oh my god, this is the craziest game of all time. 
Wow, wow, wow. Alfonso, Dave, what, what was the keeper doing? I don't know. I'm bringing on Dan James for Richarlison. I don't think I actually even got that sub off. But fuck it, I don't care. I'm leaving Richie on. He just got in a crazy assist for there. If we score one more, we win. We go through. If we score one more, by the way. Like, just, but there's only five minutes left. I'm not getting ahead of myself. We gotta go. Dave, he's low! Oh. Nearly same thing again, man. Imagine Davies just got a quick double at the end there. Holy shit. Come on, we got three minutes left. Last chance. Last chance. This is really last chance saloon, boys. Are we going to even get one more chance? I don't know. Maybe not. I can't get the ball! I hate when that happens, when there's fucking no time left and you just can't pass it to one of your own players. It's over. Fuck! Oh. You don't say it's cruel, huh? Fuck me, man. I am so depressed right now. We're out. But what a what a valiant effort and what a crazy, crazy match. Marcus Rashford done his very best once again. But I think Juventus just maybe did deserve it. We got three goals from three shots on target. And that was truly incredible stuff. I'm going to go get my hair cut and I'll come back and I'll maybe sim the rest of the season or something like that. We'll see. Um, or else I'll just... I don't think I'm going to end the video here, but we'll be back. I did, Fuck me, man. Oh, imagine we got one more attack and scored. Fuck, dude. Like, holy, bro. I genuinely can't believe that. Yeah, I think that's... Maybe we don't need... We have six games left. We might as well send the rest of the season. But I'm not going to do it now. Um, because, as I said, I have to go get a haircut, unfortunately. Uh, I don't really care about this training anymore. So I'm just simming every single one. Okay, well, let's say prove me I need to play you, Mason. But there you go. That's where we're going to... Well, I'm just going to go get my haircut. And then I'll be right back. It will be no time at all for you guys. All right, just got my haircut. We're back. What do we think, boys? W or L? Hey? I think I, I kind of like it, honestly. I dig it a lot. But we're back. We're ready to get back in and sim the rest of the season. We're not going to play any more matches unless something interesting. I, uh, no, I'm actually not going to play any more matches. Because we've already played three in this part. I'm just going to sim the rest of the season. I'm sure some of you will want to see how the season plays out. So I will do that for you guys. We're going to play Newcastle here and destroy them. 4-1. Rashford scored four. There's something wrong with this man, Marcus Rashford. I mean that. I hate this man. I hate this man, Kai Havertz. Legitimately. Bro, like, Kai Havertz is literally literally starting fucking 95% of the matches. Away to Spurs. Can we get the win? 1-1. One, one, fuck. That game was important, too. Because they're level on points with us, I'm pretty sure. Havertz and Son score the goals. Rashford didn't score for once. He literally handed in a transfer request, and I can't even fucking... Negotiate his contract or anything now. Great. Manchester City just offered us 133 million for Kai Havertz. Holy fucking shit. West Ham, let's see if we can get the win here with a slightly different team. 2 0 win. Mason Mount and Victor Lindelof score the goals. Defenders score so much more on Sims. It, it's mad. It's mad. Three games remaining. Home to Derby County. We should smash these lads. Absolutely smash them up and get to 90 points. 90 points, 1-0. Mason Mount scores. So Mason Mount is becoming a good replacement. He scored in the last two games. Kai Havertz, we don't need you, you piece of shit. Hand in your transfer request. I don't give a fuck. John Stones is out for the rest of the season. That's bad news. Right, we're away to Brighton. Hopefully we can get the win. And yes, Mason Mount scores two. Rashford scores two. And Alfonso Davies scores a 5-1 resounding victory for the Toffees there. And you love to see it. It's really disappointing not to be what? What the fuck is Mason Mount on about? What do you mean, dude? You've started the last... The, when you sim it, it's literally bugged. I fucking hate this career mode. Thank God it's over. Because literally Mason Mount has literally just started the last fucking three games. And now he's fucking handed in a transfer request as well. A loan request. I hate this game so much. It's really fucking dumb. It's stupid as hell. Right, I'm sitting in the last game against Wolves and hopefully we win and finish off with a bang. 96 points, maybe. 
4-0. Lindelof with a double. Alfonso Davies scores again. And Mason Mount scores as well. So there you have it. 96 points was not enough to win the league. Manchester City finish on 103 points. Havertz is gone. Uh, there's nothing I could have done about it. Thank God the season's over, guys. Thank God this whole career mode's over. It's, it's fucking bugged as hell and it's just broken. It's a shame because I really enjoy the gameplay and I've really enjoyed a, a lot of aspects of this career mode. But then again, the table is fucked. Like, um, there's a lot of things that are just fucked about it completely. Like, you see Chelsea in sixth place, 83 points. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like, that's ridiculous. You should not have to get 83 points to get in the top six. It's a fucking joke. Let's have a look just at the squad hub for the season and see who was our top scorer. I already know it was fucking Rashford, but who else was behind him? Uh, Rashford had 36 goals and 5 assists. Holy shit. And Havertz had 23 goals, 12 assists. Alfonso Davies had 12, 15 goals and 3 assists. I don't think he, he scored. I think he maybe scored one goal when I was actually playing. He scored so many goals in the Sims. Um, but there you have it. That's it. Sims are assist wise was Rabio and Kai Havertz, Dinier and Lozano were up there as well. But that's it for me for the Everton FIFA career mode. That will be the final episode ever on FIFA 20. But I will be doing some online seasons, so don't fret. There'll still be some FIFA 20 content coming your way. I'm in Division 7. Haven't played a single game in Division 7, so if you're interested, make sure to stick around for that. And of course, we will be starting a FIFA 21 Everton career mode straight away when that comes out. So thank you for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. The support picked up as we went along. We've hit over 100 likes on like 90% of the videos, I would say. And... Uh, uh, yeah, it's been incredible. Thank you all. This has been by far the longest Everton career mode I've done, and hopefully FIFA 21 is even longer. I can't wait to get stuck into that one, um, I assume, when it comes out in September or something like that. So I'll see you guys then. It's been my distinct pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.